Hey ladies, it's Tori, your physical therapist and trainer, and welcome back to my channel for day 15 of our Planksgiving series. Where we've been looking at a new plant pose variation for just two minutes a day, six days a week for three weeks this November, and we just have three days left of this amazing series. Today's variation is our plank with pike and foot tap. So it's gonna get a little crazy in here today. And all you need is a nice soft surface to work on. So if you have your mats at home, go ahead and roll those out. If not, feel free to work on your carpet or a towel, whatever else you have available to you that will provide enough traction. And just follow on to the tips I give along the way. And if this move is a bit too crazy for you today, feel free to follow along to the modified versions I give in the corner of the screen where everything may appear as well. And without further ado, let's get into it. Guys, let's get into or plank with pike with foot taps. Let's break this baby down. Let's start off on our hands and knees. Just go ahead and spread the fingers of both hands so we're distributing our weight. Even with your both hands not straining that wrist joint as we go ahead with the motion. We're also going to turn those fingers out to the sides slightly. So we get those shoulders rotated away from the air so we're not squeezing those neck muscles as we go ahead with our transitions. Just go ahead and push those shoulder blades up to the sky. So we're keeping those neck muscles relaxed and that shoulder joint relaxed as well. And just go ahead, curl those toes into the mat. We're going to rock our butt back, keeping the back nice and straight. And from here, just raise those knees up, push that butt up to the sky, and straighten those knees. Keep those hands in place where we left them. Just gonna go ahead and straighten those elbows all the way and really sink into those feet, pushing that butt up to the sky. All that's important here is that our back is straight and we're like a downward arrow, like a chicken about to peck for its food. I, I don't know, I'm the mother of parrots. I only have my bird references to live by. So we're just gonna keep that back nice and straight, pointing downward. Knees can be bent here or straighten, whatever is more comfortable for you. We're just going to go ahead and just go back into our plank. We can go ahead and drop onto the knees first, push forward, and then push up into a plank, keeping those shoulders over the hands once more. Or if you don't need a break going down on the mat first, just go ahead, bend those knees, and push that butt up into our plank. And then take your time straightening, pushing forward getting that butt flat in line with the rest of the hips and the back as well. And if you want to go a little crazier with me, you can go ahead and just go back into your pie. And from here, we take our right hand, just tap the toes of that left foot on the mat, bring that right hand back into your plank, start in position. Let's return to our pie this time. Left hand goes to right foot. And we keep it all squeezing at a comfortable pace. Choose your variation. And let's go, lovelies. Tap and tap awesome job keep those fingers pointing out to the side so we have our shoulders rotated away from the ears and keep that butt up like a nice accordion getting scrunched up into that pie let that head hang with it keep that spine long straight line pointing down don't strain the neck really follow the motion of the hands with those eyes, don't try to look up against the motion of your body. Your body is going towards those feet, so the head falls. Remember, if you're feeling a strain in the back of those knees, you can go ahead and keep them bent. And if it's too much for you, go ahead and take your break, getting those knees on the mat first, and then rocking up into your pack. Whatever is comfortable for you. And if you don't want to go ahead with this foot tap, that's fine. Just go from your plank to your pike transition. Keep it going. And as we return to our plank position, get those shoulders over the hands once more. Awesome. Nice and straight. Rocking those shoulders over the hands. Keeping those toes in line with the hips. Keep it going. Whew. Awesome job, we're doing great. Nice, comfortable pace. <laughs> Will this end? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem possible at this time. But we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there, lovelies. <laughs> nice. All the way to those toes. Touch them. Get that stretch going in the back of the legs. Oh, wow, look at us almost done. One more. Take your time, lower. Good job. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for our plank with Pike and foot taps. It was a crazy adventure. Uh, stick around for tomorrow though, because it gets crazier. We have our side plank tips, the last of our variations this series for my nemesis, the side plank. I am excited it's almost over, but I am mostly terrified. So stay tuned for that with me. And if you missed any of the poses so far for this amazing Thanksgiving series, go ahead and check them out from the top in our Thanksgiving series playlist right over there. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a big beautiful thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell right over there so you can see when I'm posting a new video as soon as I post them just for you. Don't forget to also join my Patreon so you can keep getting early access to the rest of the videos for this amazing Thanksgiving series and also be eligible for some wonderful prizes at the end as well. You'll also get behind the scenes footage, bloopers, principal workout guides, and so much more. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below to tell me what you loved about this pose, what else you would love to see, and just share with your friends so they may join me on this fantastic fitness adventure. And follow my socials so you can keep up to date with the latest tips and videos of everything else we have in store for you, including the schedule guide for the rest of this Thanksgiving series, and part two to our Slay Bell series starting December 3rd, which will be bigger and better than last year, so I cannot wait to enjoy all those great things with you. And until next time, my lovelies, don't forget... Love your body, have fun with your fitness, and I'll see you in the next amazing workout. Bye.